Hi, in this video we're going to talk about a way to uh, extend the pause time for Windows updates or even disable them uh, completely for Windows 10. So you probably know when you go to the Windows uh, update settings for Windows 10, you know, you could pause and change your active hours and that kind of thing, but you can't stop them. And Windows will do its own thing and then actually reboot your computer uh, when it wants to. And if you have stuff open, it's too bad for you. And that actually happened to me this morning. So there is a free uh, utility you could download this uh, Windows Update 10 uh, manager here. There's a portable version and an installer. So I have the portable version here, so there's nothing to install. So it's just a zip file that you extract, and then you just double click the executable. Uh, the first time you run it, you'll probably get a warning from Windows saying, you sure you want to trust this? And of course, you know, use this at your own risk because, you know, you never know what you're getting off the internet. So once you have it running here, you notice that you have uh, the services section here. Or you could disable all the services or certain services. And then there's a pause section here. So if you want to pause until uh, a certain date and the number of days to defer the updates. And then for the, so for feature and for quality, you could do them separately here. And there's a couple of beta sections here. So if you want to declutter or, you know, do a little debloating here for these uh, built-in uh, Windows apps, you could do it here. And you could click this too, show third-party apps which there's nothing on here, I don't believe. Should show the Microsoft apps. This is just a clean installation of Windows, so there's nothing else on here. And then also for these schedules tasks, so these uh, Windows Update Orchestrator tasks that run, uh, you could disable them from here as well. So, you know, give it a shot and see how it works for you. I don't think it'll hurt anything, but like I said, you know, use at your own risk. So I'll put a link in the description. Uh, you can download the... Uh, portable standalone version with no installer or you could download the one that you need to install and try it out for yourself all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe